All right, welcome back, everyone. Mario! <laughs> it is time for some Super Mario Odyssey Triple Bingo. Send it over to Agron, our runner on the stage, to sort of give a more in-depth explanation as to what bingo is. All right, hello, everyone. I am Awesome Agron, and today I will be showcasing Triple Bingo for Super Mario Odyssey. Now, Triple Bingo entails picking three lines. This could be any columns, diagonals, or rows, and you just complete them as fast as possible. The list of objectives is based off of goals that you can complete in the game, and you generally want to find goals with synergy and, you know, minimal kingdom progression. But we'll get more into that as we go into the run. Yep, and speaking of, let's just hop into it. Let's not waste right. any more time. Excellent. I'm going to count down from five, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, now let's see this board. All right, so this board is uh, interesting, as most boards are. So immediately we want to look for um, goals that are Snow Seaside related, because this is going to determine what our cap is in terms of kingdom progression. So I'm starring those immediately. So we got Alpha Door Seaside, 25 Regional Snow. Uh, let's see, it looks like those are the only two. Also, keep in mind, I got to keep playing through the intro <laughs> while we uh, figure out a route. So uh, that's part of the challenge here. Yeah, and I will say there's one thing on the right side where I see a couple of nice uh, objectives lining up with potentially pushing for an early seaside and also getting some moons in the lake, if you want to take a look at that. I will definitely take a look at that in a sec. Yeah, I definitely see what you're thinking there. I'm also seeing two hint arts, which should be pretty easy to grab and maybe potentially get a middle row going across. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, you do. So what are your first thoughts going into the end of cap here where we actually have to start actually playing the game and getting a bingo objectives? So generally, I'm kind of just playing through the game right now, not really worrying too much about the route at the moment. Like I mentioned before, we have time for that. Oh, a little bit of a bonk. That's OK. Caps are usually not perfect in uh, bingo. Actually, cap is never perfect, what am I saying? You always end up raising the bar each time you finally get a good time. Absolutely, absolutely. So. I see a good bit of regional synergy here, and there's also a 225. So I'm tempted to work in something around that. I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, I also see 10 moons from sub areas metro. That might be a no-go, just because it's kind of late. It's not exactly the latest goal. There's also a 150 and 225, like I mentioned. So those pair pretty well together. We also have the 20, the 25, 50, 20. Yeah, there's just a lot of regional goals here. So I'm definitely looking at potentially doing regionals here. And then with those regionals, you could then also potentially purchase five full costume sets. Absolutely. There will be no blackout here. <laughs> I want to go to bed. As we all do. <laughs> So we're just going to collect the power moon there. No biggie. Give us a little bit more time to think. So yeah, I'm definitely liking uh, row three here. Row three looks very solid. Purchasing five moons, 18 moons. Uh, we can also do hats with that. Uh, seven story moons is not bad at all. Uh, that does lock us into Metro, but I don't think that's too bad here. So with I'm the 225. So I'm curious, with the 225, are you thinking about starting that here in Cascade? I am definitely considering it. I will likely collect uh, 20, 25 after we beat Madame Brood. In fact, actually, there's three right here that I'm probably going to collect. Yep, here we go. Just a bit of a fancy movement there. And here we're seeing a little skip here where we use the dino to jump off of a trampoline that's hidden under these blocks to skip right up to the boss fight. Yep. There we go. Now, boss fights in this game obviously have sort of become trivialized over the years. Here, we sort of throw Cappy out. We bounce off of the chain chomp. Oh, apparently oh. not. 
<laughs> spoke too soon. It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but it essentially lets us instantly capture the Chain Chomp and then immediately get a hit into oh. Madame Brood okay. and finish her off. Yeah. And I will now stop talking for the rest of the run. <laughs> All good, man. I'm tired. I need more time to think anyway. Got to find the third line. So third line, uh, actually potentially looking at C4 here. C4 doesn't look too bad. We do have to do World Peace Wooded, which is a little bit trivial. I'm not a huge fan of that. Well, all that practice we've put in the last few days would help. <laughs> World Peace, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, that was the original plan for my run, but uh, things have changed for the better, mind you. Yeah, who doesn't want to see some bingo? It brings uh, in some I spice, think, some I think flair. I like row four, so I think we got a route here. I think this is what we're doing. So immediately, I'm going to start collecting some regionals around Cascade, because we need 225, and that is a good bit. And on top of that, we do need a moon to leave anyway, so there's that. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other moon-related objectives in Cascade, so it's just going to be purples, and then we're going to make our way to Sand Kingdom. Yeah. And as I mentioned, every decision I make impacts the run in some way, shape, or form. So that goes with movement, that goes with uh, what regionals I opt to collect. Uh, just There's a lot of thinking involved in this. And it's 4 a.m. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, we make do with what we've got. Absolutely. I'm psyched to be here. Oh, oh. bit of a bonk there. No big deal. Uh, we're going to get some coins. Bit of a free coin there. So I think 28 will do. Like I said, we're going to Metro, so I'm not too concerned. Yeah, plenty of purple coins in the Metro Kingdom. 28 looks pretty good. Like I said, we're kind of, you know, we're kind of winging this. Oh, I do see 26 unique captures. I probably should have captured the Big Chomp. I don't think it'll matter, but potentially that could bite us. We'll see. I was going to say, we usually get about 10 or 12 captures by the time we get to Metro, right? Uh, way more than that. Way more than that? Maybe. I don't well, know. Well, for, for a bingo run, it's more than that. Yeah, I'm thinking like the basic any percent round. Oh, yeah, basic. It's like 12 or 13. So we won't have to go too far out of our way. Maybe two or three extra captures per kingdom. Yeah, absolutely. So keep in mind, we have 28 regionals leaving Cascade. We have to keep track of all of that in our head. Or you could use a notepad, but uh, I feel pretty experienced and confident enough to be able to track the coins in my head. I volunteer as tribute to keep track of them for you. Hell yeah. Thank you, Dylan. Shout out to Dylan. Hello. <laughs> so I think immediately we're going to start with some more regional collecting. It's a very regional heavy card for our route, so. I'm also seeing seven story moons that we can go for here. Yeah, absolutely. But with story moons, uh, Metro obviously is really fast ones with musicians, so I'm not really too concerned about grabbing both story moons here. I'll probably do the tower. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the bird. Oh, uh, apparently not the moon, though. Hold on. Give me a sec. Oh, okay. Oh. Give me a sec. <laughs> hey, extra coins. For sure. There's the moon. So would multi-moons count as one moon towards the seven, or would that count as three? Uh, Dylan, if you read below the story moon objective, it says excluding multi-moons. It's been six months since I've been to the eye doctor. That is okay. We are here for you. <laughs> okay, so uh, as mentioned before, we're just going to collect some more regionals, because we need a lot of them. Mario. Yep, that's him. Oh, Ooh. didn't quite get the dram. That's okay. So we'll just get this moon instead. And uh, we will go for the tower. Tower. So the tower lets us get up here, get a good checkpoint at the top for potentially warping around if we need to. 
and also gets us one story moon, some purples, and an additional extra moon that we get in this 2D section. Which we're going to do a quick little skip there. Nice. Yep. Holding A while in the 2D section lets you bounce off the bullet bill when you land on it. Silly Dylan. Every Odyssey runner uses B. Yeah, and also people roll cancel X, Y, B. I don't know why people do that. <laughs> Very true. All right, so that is another story moon. We have two. So remember this moon? We're going to get it now. So here we're going to get some fast moons along with some more coins up here on the Jaxi Ruins. Nice little Jaxi skip there. Classic. So I'm going to grab Jaxi. I'm not sure if I'll need him, but better safe than sorry. It's just good to get around the kingdom quickly. Yeah, when we have to get 22 moons, it helps to get around from moon to moon a little faster. Absolutely. So... That is right, I do need 22 moons, so uh, I should be collecting a little bit more moons than I have been. The setup, it's a little bit awkward to bingo board. <laughs> but we'll make do. We now, do. are we going to see a little pipe clip here to get to the Sphinx? I'll attempt it. Oh, hey! oh there we go. Let's go. Very impressive roll cancel clip there. Thank you. So, get a few coins. Let's we just skip to talking to the Sphinx. So. Um, hello? Thank you. <laughs> Oh, Dylan, we're silly. I'm not doing 20 teammates. Oh, you're not. You're right. <laughs> That's okay, though, because we did get to show off Pipe Clip. So thank you for that. And we're also moving around and getting purples anyway from a whole bunch of corners of the kingdom. So it, it helps that yeah, we're... Yeah, Sand has a few sub areas with some purples in it. So we'll definitely uh, use those to our advantage. Oh, okay. Oh. Apparently, we're going to die. Oh, never mind. See you. Ya. The <laughs> frame perfect pause and then warp as we hit the poison, but before we take damage. To be honest, that doesn't save any time. I just wanted to show off poison warp. I figured if I'm going to have the opportunity, I will. It would have been faster to die. Well, we do enough dying in this game anyway. So especially true. Especially during our darker side speed runs. Absolutely. Oh, nice ledge grab. So as uh, mentioned, purple coins in the sub areas. It's all good. So you were probably wondering why I had a timer set at the start with uh, the uh, date time menu. Uh, that was just in case I decided to plant the seed in sand. I didn't, mainly because I forgot because I was talking about a bunch of other things. But uh, that would have been useful to get basically a free moon. Oh, we have to capture the cactus. Hold up. <laughs> as well as the moai in this sub area would probably also be a good we idea. We absolutely will capture the moai. But we, we actually do need the cactus for the goal. It is a good thing I looked at that. That could have been bad. So we'll leave. That's perfectly fine. Again, no bingo run's going to be perfect. Far from it. This is a very intense uh, way to play Super Mario Odyssey. A lot of mental juggling. And it's 4 a.m. Give me a break. <laughs> I'm very tired. And imagine how I'm feeling over here. <laughs> so we got some nice little cat naps during, during the cozy Kirby run. <laughs> Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Kirby and the Sleepy Boys. So we'll just go back to the start of the kingdom and purchase our moon, and then we'll be leaving. So we can purchase some of our hats now. 
So we gotta purchase uh, some hats, four hats to be exact. I guess we could use our purple coins on that since we don't really need them for anything else. Oh, shit. Sorry. Actually, you know what? I will put it on. Let's go. Well, you know, we'll waste a little bit of time to put on a hat. That's Yeehaw. Fine. Yeehaw, exactly. Some Kate Kona's in chat. <laughs> we also have to purchase five full costume sets, so. Oh, we do. You're right. Might be a good idea to uh, snag I guess the... I should buy this, then. Mm -hmm. That's one full costume set. And you know then... what? We'll put on the poncho. We'll put on the poncho. This is a pretty weird combo, but eh, who cares? Marathon run. Poncho Cowboy, exactly. Yeah, but yeah, you are absolutely right. We do need costume sets. Good catch. So we will be weaving sand. We have our uh, 41 coins plus the 28, so we're at 69. Nice. Totally intentional. No, we will not be playing as Luigi. But I appreciate the enthusiasm. You don't unlock the Luigi costume until post-game, correct? Uh -huh, something like that. I think it's something like 1,500 coins. So do we need to go to Wooded first? I don't think so. So let's just click like. There are some situations where Wooded first is better. This is not one of those. So we do need 18 moons in a lake. So a bit of moons. Not that big of a deal. Potentially going to see some DSNR routing here. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We definitely need purple coins still, so going to be getting those. So moons, purple coins, and probably the hint art as well after we beat the boss to achieve peace in the kingdom. Probably going to be the three main goals here. Ooh, the fancy spin throw. Yep. How Tyrone does that off of a single jump, I will never understand. Me neither. Let's go for something fancy. So that was like quip. Really useful in bingo. Can get some moons. Could uh, get some purple coins, but we're just going to use it for moons. I say, we could have also gotten those purple coins you get in the all moons route. Could have, but that's pretty tricky to do. Mm -hmm. No thanks. <laughs> As I mentioned before, it's 4 a.m. here. Let's not do anything too feisty. Oh, bit of a fish bonk there. By fish bonk, I mean Mario bonk, and then I captured the fish. That makes sense. All right, so you're probably going to get three or four more moons here and then enter the boss fight, correct? Uh, no, I think I'm going to go to the boss fight now, actually. In fact, maybe I should have went to the boss fight before, because realistically, I didn't really need Cheap Cheap Crossing that early. It would have been better to wait for after. That's one of those uh, you probably should have uh, figured it out a bit more in your head before you did it type of moments. That's okay. So, uh, yeah, there's Hatter. You know, all the Brutals are just named Hatter. Shout out to Vash. Cheeky little multi moon grab there. All right, so now a quick little run back through the kingdom to get, mm -hmm. I believe, seven more power moons we need. Yeah, we're going to get a few uh, power moons, some regionals, some captures. You know, we got a pretty big grocery list in the Lake Kingdom. Probably also grab that hint art while we're thinking about yep, it. Yep, I'm doing it right now. Goomba. Should we go fishing? We'll go fishing. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. <laughs> the audience is hungry. They need some breakfast. All right, third bite wake fish. Not the best, but we'll take it. 
Anyone want some fried cheap cheap? Yeah. Let's go. Love the energy. So we do need uh, capture still. So uh, I'm actually going to do the puzzle room for both a moon and a capture. This will hopefully make up for the fact that I missed the um, big chomp and cascade. Shout out to Block Sores. Anyone played that Flash game I when they were a kid? Sores. Absolutely love Block Sores. Insane game. So now we're going to get this moon. I met a late cheap sheep. Yes, you did. What a great moon. So I'm thinking probably now the box moon. Are you thinking about JGCG? Uh, I definitely am considering it. Also, it's a JGCC. It's 4 a.m. Fair enough. I already made that excuse. Ah. OK. Oh, um, so that's a purples. little bit annoying, but that's fine. We do need the purples. Let's not hit that P switch. Waste a ton of time for no reason. Oh, OK. I guess we're bonking. Gameplay is not very crisp right now, but that's fine. It's bingo. What can you expect? And it's 4 a.m. I will keep stating that. It's important. The chat needs to know the lore. The chat needs to know that it's 4 a.m. <laughs> so let's show off some uh, cool JGCC movement, purple coins, for the extra spice. Oh, apparently we're ledge grabbing. That was a very tight jump. I didn't know you could make that without another stall in the air. You absolutely can. Also showing off nice Shireen bounce strat there. Very clean JGCC. Yep. This is, a, this is a pretty difficult sub area to do fast, so let's get some uh, round of applause for that. Very difficult sub area. You know, coming out of it without a death is always a good sign. Uh, do I need these? I'm going to wrap them. So you need three more moons. Uh, okay. I, I know exactly where I'm getting the three moons, by the way. We're good there. I'm thinking what, the shop? I'm thinking the shop, our secret little room, and broken pillar. Oh. So now we'll enter the shop, because we do need a moon and a costume set, by the way. So let's get the costume set first. Because of the convenience of getting the costume set, unfortunately, we You want to change? You want to change? All right, let's change. Let's get wet. Oh, whoops. Sorry. You want me to put on the whole thing? All right, let's put on the whole thing. The audience loves the ducks. We got a buyer moon as well. So are we going to be seeing a little outfit clip here, or are we just going to use the convenient outfit we're already wearing? <laughs> That's a good point. We are wearing the outfit now. We could just do that. I won't, um, I won't pressure you into going for it. <laughs> I'll at least attempt it. I'll attempt it. You know, we're feeling ballsy. It's 4 a.m. Let's do it. No balls. Okay, I'll give it one more try. Okay, so that's not happening. That's fine. Yeah, the lineup looked good, just the timing was a bit off. Yeah, it's really hard. Really hard. Like, if I got that, I, 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 I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't initially planning on getting this meme, but yeah, Dylan made a good point. We're already wearing the outfit. Might as well. Yep. Quick and convenient. Now one more moon, and then we're probably going to move on to the Woody Kingdom. Absolutely. Oh, maybe I should have showcased that you could talk to her through the wall. Whoops. That's okay. So uh, we're actually going to mark off our first goal here, 18 Moons Lake. First of 15. Or yeah, so usually how triple bingo goes is you usually only mark off one or two, and then the rest just kind of like go. <laughs> Becomes a cascade, if you will, towards the end. Yeah, it's a cascading effect. Pun intended. Of course. Mm -hmm. 
So I think uh, we've purchased enough purple coin costumes. Uh, I think we could definitely just buy the rest with yellow coins. <clears throat> and so how many purples are you up to now total? Uh, we have, I believe, 99. Because I ended awake with 30. Yep, that would be correct. Yep. So now we're going to Wooded. Uh, we're doing World Peace, 50 regionals, and uh, capturing the tree. Awesome. Are you thinking about starting in Deep Woods here? Um, no, I think I'm going to save Deep Woods for later, and I'll, I'll explain why in a bit. So first, let's collect some regionals. Is the hint art there before Peace? It is, but it's kind of a slow one. I actually think the Metro one would be faster since we're getting the Trumpeter anyway. Ah, uh, that's true. You know, there's kind of uh, the logic in Bingo where like you could collect it immediately, like the first one that you get, but then there's also the logic where it's like, oh, maybe I should just wait for the one that's actually going to be fast. Um, is this going to clip? I don't think this is going to clip. Yeah. Okay. Rubber Ducky, you're the one. You're not actually the one. You messed up Nut Clip. Whoa, that's rude. Yeah, sorry. But we'll show off some cool backup movement there. Just because. Got to capture a fire bro anyway. Do you know how many captures you're up to now? Uh, I believe I have 15, if I'm counting in my head correctly. I'm not 100% on that, though. We can do a capture check in a little bit. Yes, you do. <laughs> um. So, there's a capture over here called the Poison Piranha Plant. It's very easily missable. I almost missed it there because it's 4 a.m. Because you need to throw a rock into the piranha's mouth before you can capture it. Yep. Unfortunately, we'll be losing a little bit of time because we took damage, but that's okay. Cannot. So we have three story moons right now. I think we'll just get the rest of the metro. Or no, I lied. We'll be getting three of them metro. Are you not thinking about getting all four musicians? Well, we're, we need world peace with it anyway. Oh, Remember? that's true. So I think if there's a musician we will skip, it will probably be uh, bassist or guitarist in this case. Yeah, I think probably guitarist would make the most sense to skip. I think so. Because bassist gets us the fast moon in the scrap. So that was tower skip. We skipped the tower. Pretty self-explanatory. Indeed Oop. it was. It's nice and useful in world peace as well as some other um, category extensions, but you don't see it at any percent because there's two moons inside the tower that are pretty quick. Yep. That is correct. All right, so uh, another Hatter down. In fact, this was actually Spirit. Uh, he spews poisonous sludge, but we don't really care. Yeah, exactly. Walk in, smack him down, walk <laughs> out. Refuse to elaborate. Walking on sunshine, whoa. All right, so doing all right, doing all right. Yep, probably just make your way up to the Torque Drift fight and grab well, some purples along your way. Well, we have to go into the deep woods first for the tree. Ah, uh, that's true. Didn't think I forgot, did you? Of course not. It is 4 a.m., but we cannot forget our favorite capture the tree, along with a few other captures that we're probably going to need. So deep woods is uh, known for having fastish captures that are usually necessary for goals like 26. So, get that. There's so also some purples behind here that we can collect. Here in the deep woods, we can become one with nature. You want to be a rock? We can be a rock. How about a tree? Too bad. We're becoming a tree. <laughs> Merry Christmas, y'all. <laughs> and we get a moon with it, too. And 
and uh, now we can get the coin coffer as well. Ooh, I always forget this one exists. Yep, most people do. It's okay. I forgive you. It's fine. It's 4 a.m. And my darker PV is 4 minutes faster than yours. Oh, okay. You're going to bring that up? Until you actually PB again, yes, I will. Fair enough. All right. Well-timed ground pound to save about a second there of the vine coming up. Absolutely. We're going to get a few more purple coins. So the reason why I waited is so that way we can be spit out here instead of... Uh, well, we would still be spit out there, but it wouldn't really make sense to do it earlier because of that. That does make sense. So it's just like an order thing. So we're going to need two more moons here, along with the story moons that we'll be getting. Mm -hmm. Oh, I only got one rocket flyer? Interesting. That's okay. So let's get these targets out of the way first, because we still got to deal with purple coins. Oh, taking damage, apparently. I can't shoot. 4 a.m. That's okay. There we go. <laughs> Very sloppy targets. All good, though. Still having fun here. Um, we do need we do need a purchase moon, which I just remembered that we need. So that can be one of the two moons we get? Absolutely. Uh, that wasn't exactly my initial plan, but we do need it, so we got to go get it anyway. So it's fine. Thinking potentially the other moon we can grab is the tree moon. Grab that for later. Or actually, we can make our way back to the fence moon here. Yeah, we'll just get this moon. Get this moon, then drop back down to the shop. Yeah, no need to overthink it. Sometimes overthinking things in bingo can lead to disastrous mental effects. Trust me, I would know. So, on top of getting our moon, we're also going to purchase the remainder of our costume sets. You want me to put anything on? Which one? Oh, I'm sorry. How about this one? All right, I'll put on that. Oh, uh, what about this? All right, I'll put that on. Uh, okay, I think we're good. We don't need to change anymore. No. <laughs> See, this should be all five costume sets now. Yep. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, shout out to the 4.30 a.m. squad out here. Yeah, shout outs to the 4.30 a.m. crowd. All right, we're looking pretty good. Between you and me, we look stupid. <laughs> I mean, what are we doing here at 4.30 a.m.? Mario! Woo! Oh, bonking. So five more regional coins. Unfortunately, we only get four here. Yeah, I kind of didn't really think that one through. It's okay. And then we just warp up to Torque Drift and get world peace and leave the kingdom. Correct. Nice. I actually grabbed all of those in one cap there. That's not easy. So 53. That will put our regional count up to, if I could math, that is uh, it should be 152. 152. Yep. And additionally, we can knock off the five full costume sets. Goal. We definitely can. We can also mark off the purchase four hats. Because those kind of coexist with each other. So uh, here's Torque Drift. Uh, no one likes this boss at all. It's very boring. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> One of the many things that can happen during Torque Drift. Sometimes you just get randomly side warped. Sometimes you Yeah, sometimes you just get flipped upside down. It's crazy. Sometimes you clip through Torque Drift and end up on top. Sometimes Torque Drift causes you to clip through the floor and you fall to your death. Oh, yeah, that's very fun. All things that have happened to me. 
Yep. Me too. Nothing on pace, thankfully. <laughs> For you. Oh, I'm sorry, Dylan. Stem despair. <laughs> So I think before we leave Wooded, I'm going to do a capture check. We should be at around 20. Maybe 19. I, I, I think 19 is probably where we're at, if I had to guess. And the rest of those should be easily gotten in Metro Kingdom. Absolutely. I imagine they will be. All right, so you can mark off two yeah, hint arts. mark off some goals. No, we cannot mark off two hint arts. Oh, that's right. We've not, looked at, the second, Metro. We've not looked at the second hint art yet, Dylan. All right. So we can also mark off 150, because we're at 152. We've already confirmed that. And World Peace Wooded. Yeah, you see how this works? We just kind of cascade goals. Look at that. Just we marked off five goals. We need to purchase two more moons. Mm -hmm. We got lost in Metro left. As planned. This was all planned. The man with the plan. Uh, I, although I did not plan putting on these very silly costumes. I was going to say, what is that on your head? I have no idea. It looks so good. Audience, why? It looks great. OK. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so are you oh think, thinking about getting most of the purple coins in Lost Kingdom coming up? Uh, so we're at 152. So we could probably get like 30 or 40. I imagine 35 will be enough and then we can get the rest of the Metro. We will be finishing the run in Metro. Oh, I forgot to do the capture check. Uh, we can do it at the start of Cloud. This is just to uh, kind of get a baseline of how many captures we have left. Um, normally, I'd be a bit more on a track with this. Uh, 21, ooh, we're ahead of schedule. Very nice. So not too many more captures left. Yep, should be. And there's three quick ones I can think off the top of my head in Metro Kingdom. Well, we're going to be getting two in loss because Tropical Wiggler and Glidon. Okay, that's very interesting, Bowser. Thank you so much. You're very cool. We love you. Mario. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just doing some uh, hat tricks with Bowser here. Doing a little manip there. Oh, didn't quite get it. Uh, I didn't quite move far enough, but that's okay. Minimal time loss. This is about 0.3 seconds, I believe, because you can normally manip Bowser to jump one less tile. Yeah, one around less the circle. hex. Reference. Hex speed runs. All right. Shout, anyways. Shouts out. Yeah, shout outs to hex speed runs. The PB live two days ago and Sonic Colors Ultimate. The main character arc is real. Let's be real. All right, so we're going to go to Lost Kingdom now. Not by choice, because uh, Bowser shot us out of the sky. Because he's mean. I don't know. I actually kind of want Yeah, this. you should probably get those purples. <laughs> I, I, I kind of muscle memory there. It's all good. Muscle memorying, muscle memorying for other things in bingo is pretty common. It just kind of happens sometimes. Not much you could do. Just be uh, better in control, I guess. Just be, you know, just get good. Anyways, we're going to pick up another moon. So that's one more moon that we need to purchase that yep. we will get in Metro Kingdom. We have one left. And as stated, we will be getting that in the Metro Kingdom. Ooh, ah. All right. We'll I guess spin pounding doesn't really want to work for me. That's fine. Uh, we'll capture Glide on here, drop down, we get these. Those are very easy to forget. Do a bit of cave gardening. 
believe apparently that, miss a flower. I believe that lost me about a minute in my All Moons PV. Those purples. That's uh, quite specific. So here, we're going to get some nice fast moons that chain together really smooth. Grab these purples around the Wiggler, as well as capture the Wiggler. Well, I kind of wanted to capture the Wiggler over here, so I didn't have to squeeze him in extra time, but that's okay. So now we just have three more captures we need to get. Ooh, the down throw. Yep, one of the only places that Procon down throw is efficient. You're welcome. Oh, we oh, didn't quite get all four. That's okay. Uh, we can just uh, pop another Luigi here. Oh, I should probably... You should um, probably trigger yeah, Klepto before... I just, I, I just realized. Don't worry. So here we have to trigger Klepto because normally when we play the game casually as we cross the bridge, Klepto steals Cappy, causes this whole cutscene, and then we have to go and get Cappy back without using Cappy. So it's quite slow, usually loses, loses about Please. 25 to 30 seconds. We just trick Klepto into thinking that the cutscene has already happened. All right, so we need one more moon. I'm thinking we can just get it peeking under the bridge. Just, uh, you know, scare you guys a little bit. Not even close. All right, fair enough. And I said that I wanted to aim for 35, so there are three more that we could get by uh, the TNT moon. Twist and turn up treasure. It blows up your runs. The Odyssey community is so funny. All right, so that we're going to leave off. the surface. Don't even get me started on the skip skips. <laughs> so uh, we're 41 minutes in. It looks like we're on pace to get a 47, which is about what I'd expect for a marathon bingo. We wasted a bit of time, uh, you know, playing dress up with Mario, but that's okay. Hey, the audience loved it. The audience did love it. Absolutely. Not the cleanest run, but hey, it's been a fun run. That's what matters. So we need about 63 purples here in Metro Kingdom. 63? Um, you might want to recheck your math, Dylan. I just collected 35. We're at 187. Mm -hmm. Check your math, because 187 is 63 short of 250, and I'm going to stop talking now. It's 225, Dylan. Exactly. OK. As long as we have that clear. It's 4.40 AM now. OK. So we're actually going to skip these moons, because we actually just don't need them. This is our last stop in the run, so. Yep, so normally that moon is very fast. You saw on the right side, the girder sandwich. Pretty quick to collect, used in, I believe, every single main category. Yeah, we're just not going to get it. But we don't need the moon, so we're just going to leave it. Yeah, we just need purple coins. Purple coins and then the story moon. Yep. So to get up to the Wiggler boss fight, we need to climb through this city hall interior. Do some spam wall jumps here between the pillar and the wall to climb all the way up the last two-thirds of it. That. All right, that was City Hall. Nice little blind jump across there to skip going around. Saves about five seconds. Pretty clean movement, too. Um, not, not, not the cleanest first phase there. I'll get there. So here, once we complete this boss fight, we get to see the day metro portion of the kingdom. So if I'm at 187, I believe that means I will need uh, 38 regionals to complete my run. And we also need three more captures, but those will be very easy. I'm not even concerned. Pull is one, uh, the sewer cap is another one, and uh, also the taxi or the uh, screw clip man. And also, I believe any pulls if you want to flick around. I already said pull. Oh.
Um, this might be a problem. Never mind. Oh. We're chilling. Yeah, this boss can be a bit of a pain, but we got it. Agron is clearly not taking the time to measure all 28 individual patterns or however many there are. Yeah, no. Never. I don't care how good I get at this game, I'm never memorizing the patterns. Think about the two seconds you can save. No thanks. We'll pass. All right, so uh, we're uh, ending off here soon. Just got to collect, uh, I believe, 30 more regional coins. Um, get our three captures, purchase our last moon. Yeah, we're almost done. It's been a fun run. So coming up here, now we've got the lively, bustling daytime metro. And there's plenty of stuff to do, plenty of stuff to see, plenty of stuff to collect. We're focused on just the things we mentioned before. Purples and story uh, okay. moves. Gotta love it when movement doesn't go like exactly how you expect it in the game. You're just like, oh, that, that happened. It's always opportunities to mess around, try to go faster with the movement. Most of the time, end up messing up, losing time anyway. But hey, it's still fun. So let's get our shopping down. This will be our last moon. Purchase five power moons. Complete. Done. Beautiful. So now we can warp here. And uh, we need to go talk to Mayor Pauline so that we can get the musicians going. But first, let's get a few more regional coins on the way down. Actually, I think those were the only three I planned to get. Never mind. <laughs> Thought it was going to be a few more. Oh, we're breaking Mario's knees, too. Look yep. at that. So nine more purple coins that we need. So we got Drummer. Apparently, Pauline cannot turn her head uh, past 120-ish degrees to look at the drummer. I'm not entirely sure why. But there he is. Shoutouts to the drummer. Uh, now we're going to get the trumpeter, like we said, because that has our hint art. It also has a few purple coins on that ledge, too, that we can collect. That wasn't exactly my intention with the trumpeter, but uh, I just remembered that they're there. So. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's not fall down. A bit of drunk walking here at 4 a.m. at pace. All I did was drink a lemonade before this run. Come on. All right, so there's Trumpeter. So we got one more story, man. We looked at our second hint art. And uh, yeah, we're almost done. So six regionals and a few more captures. So let's see, what are we going to do about that? Well, here's a pole. Here's a taxi. Very quick captures. And let's get a few of those. Can do a bit of wall jumping. Uh, that took way longer than I expected. I probably could have done something faster. Yeah, I don't think you needed to cap stall on <laughs> each wall jump. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. So we're at 37, so we still need one more. Hmm. I guess we'll just get these. All right, boom. That's 225 total regional points. And that points. should be it. Seven story moons and should be and the unique time. captures. That is time. <laughs> GG's gamers. We got a 48.09. Very solid time for the for a marathon run, marathon bingo run. Most bingo cards take me around 45 minutes, but it's a bit late here at Pace, and uh, you know, obviously had to explain some stuff and do some marathon things like playing dress up. So, you know, it was a great run. I was very happy to show off trickle, triple bingo instead of world peace. If you have any interest in this at all, um, please uh, stop by the SMO speed running Discord and uh, you know, ask uh, me or one of the other bingo runners in the uh, bingo channel. Either me, BP31, um, a few others that 
I can't seem to remember. Oh, uh, haha, funny speedruns is doing uh, bingo right now. Uh, yeah, any of us can help you out and get you started. And shout outs to the Super Mario Odyssey community members that are in the chat at this early, early hours of the morning. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, man, dude. I was very happy to showcase Triple Bingo instead of World Peace, not going to lie. All right. It's been great. Shout outs to Pace. It's been a very fun event. Thank you to uh, all the um, you know, hosts, the tech people. Shout outs to Artemis for giving me set up here. Shout outs to Artemis. Holy cow. And shout outs to the 4.30 AM crew, the audience. Thank you. All right. GG's. Have a good night, boys.